hi guys and welcome back to my channel once again and i hope you're all staying well and safe today we're going to be having a, a general conversation on what is life like um being a law student um what made me want to um go into that specific um career and why i want to be a lawyer and some of you have quite a lot of questions. Um, what do I need to get into law school? What are the qualifications? What A-levels should I study? Um, like what are just the different routes to take? And the other questions are, how do I write a cover letter to get work experience? Because guys, the competition is fierce. Like I know so much people that did not even get the opportunity to step foot into a law firm and when i'm talking about a law firm i'm not just talking about any law firm i'm talking about well established law firms so so regarding a levels when i was doing a levels i was told not to study law so i was told not to study law um at a level because the law at a level is different to the law at university and yes that is quite precise um so what i studied for a levels was english literature and language history communication and culture and government and politics these four a levels are wide um therefore meaning there are different paths to when um i was picking universities when i was thinking about oh my god what do i want to study what do i want to do career wise and so forth so it's quite good to pick a levels that are broad and also a levels that you're going to enjoy and the reason why i specifically picked english literature and language is because it involves a lot of reading it involves taking a lot of you know important and vital words from the context and making something out of that paragraph and that is what you need for law school so english um was one of the best choices i could have ever made and i have no regret because it also helps to you know broaden your vocab and um, it makes you more um bold when it comes to reading publicly it makes you bold when you're having specific conversations with different people from different backgrounds different niches um people who are on different courses to you um and so forth um history was also um a very good choice for me because you know i learned how to deal with evidence i learned how to come to conclusions um, and the thing of history, it has in so many dates. And that is what law school is about. Dates, 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 okay? Different laws um, and so forth. And the thing is, if you want to do really well in law school, you need to remember the dates. You need to remember when specific things happened, okay for example um you might be doing an exam and you might want to write about the human rights act but you have to think what's the date for the human rights act 1998 so stuff like that you really have to include if you want to do well in law school so try and pick a levels that are going to broaden your understanding and just prepare you for that journey okay um and then again you know history and english they're a really good um combination really good combination and the thing is with history there's so much to remember there is literally so much to remember and it's all about picking vital evidence out of a paragraph why is this evidence more important than this evidence and it's all about you know um just just comparing and and so forth so all of these things you really need to take on board and when it when it comes to communication and culture communication and culture is to do with like the proletariat and the bourgeoisie and so forth and it really taught me the difference between cultures the difference between the higher class the lower class um the middle class the working class and so forth and all of these things just really broadened my understanding and really 
prepared me for uni so please 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 be very wise when picking your a levels um there's loads of other um good a levels out there um so there's economics um um what else is there there's media um there's sociology psych um psychology but as i said again when you're picking your a levels please ensure that you know what you want to study at university and i wouldn't completely cancel out psychology because law is about psychology criminal law is about psychology because when it comes to criminal law criminal law is about the mens rea the actus reus and you know it's about guilty minds and psychology will prepare you for that seminar it will prepare you for that lecture so psychology is also a good a level that you can take on um now when it comes to um applying for work experience you have to stand out from amongst the rest what makes you out of millions and thousands of applicants what makes you different what are you bringing to that law firm what are you going to bring to their clients what is it about you that they should pick why they shouldn't pick the other um, person who wants the same um role as you well what you need to do is you need to stand out you need to know how to conduct yourself you need to know how to look presentable you need to be bold you need to be fierce because the law um industry it is very hard and if you don't have connections you really have to work your way to the top to the top to the top so for example how i um became in love with law and why i want to be a barrister and why i am on a route to become a barrister is because when i was doing my a levels i I don't know, I can't remember how, exactly how we met, but I met a criminal barrister because I think he came in to do a talk um, at my sixth form. And from there, we just started talking because he was um, a stop and search leader, therefore meaning, and you know what stop and search is. Stop and search is when the police stop and search you um, randomly just to make sure that you have no knife or any weapons or any illegal substances on you class a drugs or class b drugs and so forth um i actually um enrolled on that um specific um it was, what was it it was an organization yeah i actually became very involved in that organization and i actually became the team leader which meant that i had to conduct um meetings with the police weekly and just discuss the statistics of the crime rates within the area um um the stop and search rates with minorities and so forth and all of this just built my confidence this just made me really bold and no matter who i stand before or who i am amongst i don't feel I don't feel any way i can hold my ground okay i can speak to i can speak up for myself i know how to hold a good conversation an educational conversation and so forth so all of this just really built me up to be the person that i am today and we also had to go out to colleges and schools and just you know just um speak to them you know face-to-face -face interaction and just um we just taught them their civil rights um their stop and search rights um when it came to the police when it came to policing and if a police was to stop and search you on the road um you are eligible to ask can i have your id number and so forth um and when i mean id number the little identification number that the police have across their badge just in case need to do a report or you was not happy with the way that they simply handled you so all of these things we taught the young people and as this went along for a period of time it just really um stuck with me deep within that i really want to become a barrister like this is something that i really want to do i want to fight for minorities i want to fight justice i want to go before the judge and fight and ad an advocate for the innocent people and just purely people that need advocating um so 
when you're writing a cover letter you briefly need to this is my notes you briefly need to introduce yourself and when you're introducing yourself you're talking about your skills um in reference to you as a person and you're also going to be involved in what university you're going to be going to and also make sure that before you apply for unis check where their law school is in the league table the higher they are in the league the better opportunity for you when it comes um to um when it when it comes to you qualifying and you looking um to get hired by a top law firm um i want to say explain yourself you need to explain yourself why you want to become a barrister why you want to become a solicitor why do you want work experience in that specific law firm what is it about that specific law firm do they specialize um in specifically what you want to do criminal law property law um, immigration law you really have to elaborate on those things make yourself clear be straight to the point don't go around the block be straight to the point okay um you need to be you need to have you need to explain your skills and how you um manage to obtain those skills and for example i drew the i highlighted when i was doing the stop and search monitoring team that's how i got the skills that i have today um i've also worked in property investment law firms i've had experience in immigration law firms and all of these have just really um formed me um into who i am today as i keep saying so all of these things you really have to explain um but i'll also say try not to be too arrogant don't be arrogant okay don't go and be too arrogant please 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 do not do that but please assert your skills okay um um yeah so just make sure that you mention all of these things and you can also involve um if you've got your advocacy skills from muting um from work experience um and so forth like any little thing that you've done add it in to your cover letter anything that will make you stand out from amongst the rest um areas of contribution so did you have a good um contribution um at the place that you've done your work experience did you leave your mark there and what did you do there did you manage to go to court with that specific lawyer did you manage to draft his notes for him just different just all these things that you can place into your cover letter um you can also include what you want to learn from your work experience what skills are you trying to develop where are you trying to be in the next five years the solicitor route or the barrister route okay do you want to get called to the bar okay and it's just all these things that you really need to include if you want to get work experience ask around okay go on the computer really dig for law firms that are looking for first year students second year students third year students and trust me if you follow my advice you will get there even if you need help just comment down below and i can simply send you some links and also just be a shoulder for you to lean on um and also make sure that your cv is on point everything is updated okay make sure there's no mistakes and make sure you you sound like you know what you're talking about okay because these law firms are not just going to take anybody they want those who have the good grades those who have the most experience those that look look the part and so forth okay that is the world of law okay that is the world of law don't worry about your color don't worry about your background okay and all these things just try and get what you need to get your grades your experience and once you have that once you stand before them what can they, can they say to really deter you okay so just take all these tips on board be sure of yourself be sure of who you are um all those people that are quite negative 
towards you, block them out. Flick them away. They're nothing but a speck, okay? People that don't believe in you is because they see something in you. So they try and bring you down to their level. Don't go down to their level because you are better than that. And just say to yourself, by the end of this year, I will get work experience. Just say that to yourself. Really believe in yourself. Just attract positive energy to yourself. And trust me, it will happen. And just take my tips. Take my tips, okay? Um, and that is literally the world of law. The world of law is quite hard. It's, it is quite challenging. But just put your mind to it. And trust me, you will get there. It takes time. It takes effort. You have to be persistent but just keep going it's a journey we're all on a journey to become something great okay and even if you're not studying law whether you're studying to be a psychologist um a nurse um a teacher all these skills you can really take on board because law is a broad um it's a broad degree so with a law degree and when I'm talking about a law degree, I'm talking about law, LLB, law honours, okay? You can go anywhere with that degree. That degree is an outstanding and very heavy degree. Once you go into an interview room and they see on your paper, law, LLB, that's another quick hire, okay? So just really take these things on board. Um, it doesn't matter what degree you're studying, as I said again, just try and make sure that your cover letter, your CV, your um, personal statement is ahead of the rest. Go online, research those templates, those example templates. Just take notes on those things, but do not copy them. Add your own bits to it. And I would say start yours from 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 the start. Don't use someone else's um, example. Be you. Be unique. Because there's so much other people copying that same personal statement. That same CV. That same cover letter. So be yourself and stand out. And any more questions, just comment below. And, you know, I'll always get back to you guys. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. And press that bell.